Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel and today we will talk about Microsoft Dynamics CRM Web Resources. Okay, we are going to cover the theoretical portion. Uh, so this video is very beneficial for all those uh, viewers who have uh, a very basic or beginner level web resources, uh, idea of web resources. <coughs> you know that Dynamics, uh, in Dynamics CRM, Microsoft has already provided a very uh, graphical and user friendly interface for customization. However, web resources are still required and are most uh, demanding for uh, developers of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So we are going to start with the beginners, uh, beginner level uh, understanding and we will go to the advanced level as well. So first of all, what are the web resources in CRM? Web resources in CRM are the virtual web files that are stored in CRM database and are used to implement web page functionalities in CRM. They are used to implement different type of uh, functionalities uh, in CRM. We are going to see different scenarios as well. Uh, the web resources files can be of HTML, J, J script, that is JavaScript and Silverlight or any other supported files. Uh, among them JavaScript is uh, you know that the most common available and used uh, uh, format supported file for web resources in CRM. Web resources are either on extended or client side. On the client side uh, you can use web resources and form scripting uh, to extend your uh, functionalities on client side. While on server sides you use plugins, work workflows and web services that we are going to learn in the upcoming chapters. Use of chap web resources. <clears throat> the question that must be coming in the mind of uh, the beginners uh, among the viewers that what is, what is the actual use of web resources? Uh, we are going to uh, see three scenarios. The first scenario is that you have a CRM form that is an entity form and there are different type of fields in it. You know uh, Microsoft in CRM provides out of the box features for basic validations of mandatory fields such as uh, you can tag which field is mandatory and which is business required or uh, optional but uh, you can also specify the field length as well uh, that uh, the field length must be of this uh, characters or strings but what if you like to have a complex validation such as you want to uh, you want that the phone number that the user is entering must be in the correct format let's see it may be in the format of the mobile number similarly uh, you are to validate the entered address that whether uh, the uh, entered address belongs to uh, uh, whether the phone number that you are entering belongs to uh, the the code of the phone number belongs to the address that you are mentioning there are different types of checks uh, that you can see that uh, there are types of uh, advanced validations basic validations as you all know many basic validations come in out of the box solution but for advanced validations that i have already given you examples there may be an example that you want that in an email box or email uh, form uh, field uh, the value must be in a proper format for example the email of my channel is hltf underscore tech at the rate gmail.com so if I only enter HLTF underscore tech and uh, don't uh, mention at the rate gmail.com then there must be a validation that it may uh, give an error message that your email is not up to the required pattern. So for that purpose uh, this is the scenario 1. Let's see the scenario 2. Scenario 2 is that uh, the default CRM provides you out of the box user interface customization such as creating sections and tabs on a forms, rearranging fields etc. Uh, in uh, on-premise uh, there is a very good form editor in which you can add different type of fields, you can add tabs, you can add columns and you can arrange, rearrange the uh, tabs on uh, a form you can rearrange even the sections and fields but uh, what if the client wants to build a custom page which shows all the information of the customer coming from their other ERP system they may come uh, uh, cry, uh, occasion or oh, where you want to show the data from other ERP system on your custom pages <clears throat> 
consider that you have an ERP system already in place. What if you would like to open some CRM schemes from this ERP system? Okay, so for that purpose, uh, there exists a scenario two. Regarding the scenario three, we will see that CRM comes with a standard ribbon bar. You know, ribbon bar is a controls that exist on the top of the form uh, in which there are different controls, for example, new, edit, delete assign but uh, which contains all buttons and options what if you want to add a ribbon button of your own you want to add a customized ribbon button so answer of all these what if is web resources okay so now i think you must be having some basic uh, idea of what are the web resources and why they are being used for now every web resource can be accessed via its unique url if we see here, uh, we go into uh, dynamics, customize settings, customizations, and we customize the system. Here you can see that in uh, customization of the system, this is the part the, where uh, the web resources actually are uh, there. <clears throat> here you can see that these are different types of web resources that are already uploaded. Uh, here you can see that this is the default URL. Okay sorry for clicking uh, this is the default url uh, and it's a unique url that exists for every type of web resource okay so it means that whenever you upload a new web resource a new unique url uh, is uh, created for that particular uh, web resource okay so uh, the next thing is that you can either upload a web resource file or for code based resources such as HTML, JavaScript, etc. You can even edit them directly inside CRM. Okay. The next important thing is that since web resources are stored within CRM, they can easily be migrated from one environment to another together along with any CRM customizations. For example, if you want to import or export any unmanaged solution, you can also import uh, or export these uh, web resources that you have uploaded in that particular uh, solution now last of all we will see the types of web resources these are the types of different web resources that uh, exist in uh, crm the first one is web page that is html you may want to create any custom html page such as maps custom application page and place it inside your crm form that is entity form style sheet any css file that will be used together with the HTML files, JavaScript, any client side logic such as validations, manipulating field values, etc. That is uh, the most common use of uh, web resource in uh, Dynamic CRM. Data XML that is used to uh, store any static settings or configure configuration data. Image, any images used in the application on ribbon, button, icons, forms, etc. That are used when you want to uh, upload your customized ribbons. That is Silverlight Zap any custom silverlight application embedded within crm and a style sheet is the last very used to transform xml data so uh, this was all about the current video uh, that is what is web resources uh, why they are used for we have talked about different scenarios for giving the basic understanding to the beginners uh, all those viewers who are advanced viewers who have intermediate knowledge of dynamics must have already the understanding of this video but i think uh, some idea has been uh, cleared to all of you now the next topic in our next video will be accessing web resources we will create a javascript file we will upload it as a web resource for an entity contact and that uh, for that entity we will uh, validate some setting for example if we uh, validate an additional setting that the email must be of a standard pattern it will give you an error message whenever the email will not be of standard pattern that would be a, a short example in which we, which we are going to cover in our next video. I thank you all for watching this video. And guys, please subscribe my channel who are my new viewers and enjoy watching more videos. I thank you all.